Sunday dinner. Mm -hmm. For all the people who don't understand me when I say Sunday dinner, I mean Sunday dinner. Look at them. Mm. But yeah, this is like um, a really good Sunday dinner. Mm. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So as you can see right here in our pot, we have about two pounds of um, chuck roast beef and we have some seasoning right here. And in our container right here, we have three teaspoons of curry powder, um, two teaspoons of jerk seasoning, three teaspoons of Cajun seasoning, which we're using this Cajun season. So if you watch my channel, you'll know that I use this Cajun season from Kroger. And then we have two teaspoons of garlic powder, onion powder, and black pepper. So now we're gonna add all of this to our pot and we're gonna get in and we're gonna get our marinade started. And you wanna do leave this for at least an hour, but you can do it overnight. So I'm gonna let mine sit in the refrigerator overnight. And as you can see, we develop a nice color and flavor. We're gonna let it sit overnight and we'll get started in the morning. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So before I get started, hit that red subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and smash the like button. So as you can see from the frame right now, we're gonna be doing some Jamaican rice and gungo. That's what we call it, Jamaica, rice and gungo. A lot of people call this rice and peas because we're using the pigeon peas. They have the green ones. I'm used to them using the, um, the dried ones. So typically, in Jamaica, we would get this, the gungo, as we call it in Jamaica, fresh, and we would wash it, and we would cook it with some garlic until nice and tender. But because I'm here in America, we don't have that luxury. So today we're using the one in the can. Typically, I drain off the liquid because I don't like the, you know, the process um, flavor that that has. So we're going to drain off the liquid off of that, rinse our beans a little bit, and then we're going to add fresh water to it, about three cups and we're gonna get this on the road. And we have some white rice right there that we're gonna wash. In the back right there is our beef that is marinated. I always use a plastic bag and cover it and let the flavor soak in. So stay tuned because this is gonna be one delicious recipe and it's gonna be melt water. So guys, stay with me because we're ready to cook. In our container right here, we have uh, half of Habanero, typically I use a whole scotch bonnet, but I don't have a whole lot, so I cut it in half. I take the seeds out. We have a stalk of scallion. We have a piece of sweet bell pepper. Um, a whole clove of garden that I cut up because we're not boiling the peas from scratch. So you don't want um, the garlic chunks to not cook out. Um, and you have big chunks while eating your rice. And then we have a few uh, sprigs of thyme. We're just gonna bring this pot to a nice bubble. And then we're gonna add one can of coconut milk and we're gonna let this boil down a little bit, add a little bit of salt, wash our four cups of rice, add it in and see if we need any more liquid, okay? So guys, stay tuned because it's gonna be one simple, delicious recipe. And all those people will try and come for me and be like, this is not how you make rice and peas, this is not how you make rice and gungo. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Well, no, you know what? Comment it, I like it, because I want this, I want that engagement. So um, everybody makes this differently. Um, some people start with the beans and cook the beans in coconut milk and all those stuff. And some people add the coconut milk after they cook the beans in water and garlic. So guys, they, in Jamaica, they have a saying, they say seven brothers, seven different minds. So that's just about cooking seven people, seven different recipes. So guys, stay tuned because I'm excited for you to see how we do this simple, delicious rice and gungo. All right. Hey guys, so meanwhile, we have our beans um, over on the stove cooking. We have three tablespoons of canola oil in our pan. We're gonna add our beef now that we've marinated. And we're trying to create like a nice saute on this. Once you create a nice saute, then we're gonna add some liquid to it, um, cover it, and we're gonna put in the pressure cooker. I'm using a five quart pressure cooker. So the smaller, the size of the pressure cooker determines how long it cooks. So typically in this um, pressure cooker that I'm using, the five quart 
It takes about 12 to 15 minutes to pressure. And then once you pressure that, then you're gonna cut up all your onion, garlic, scallions, and all those flavors, and you're gonna simmer it in for another probably 15 minutes or until nice and tender, and your potatoes are cooked. So guys, you just wanna create a nice saute on your beef. So lock in the flavor, and then we're gonna add a little bit of liquid, and let it come to a bubble, and then we're gonna throw this in the pressure cooker. Cause I love the pressure cooker. It makes everything move so quicker. Cause once, if you were cooking this beef just on the stove top, probably take an hour and a half with the pressure cooker uh, and simmer in process about 30 minutes, 35. So that's a huge time saver. So guys, stay tuned because this is gonna be one delicious recipe. It's been sauteing for about four minutes. We're using warm water. So we're gonna put just enough water in there to cover the beef. And we're gonna bring it to a rigorous bubble once we bring that to rigorous bubble, then we're gonna empty it out into our pressure cooker. And we're gonna uh, pressure it for about 12 to 15 minutes. And then once our pressure cooker is cooled, then we're gonna add all our herbs and potatoes and everything like that. So guys, stay tuned. Just look how delicious that beef looks. Wow. You can see right here, um, our um, peas, I've been cooking for a few minutes now. We're gonna add in our can of coconut milk to that. And we're using a 13.5 flow ounce, which is 400 milliliter. And we're gonna um, get some water and rinse the can out. So we're gonna probably fill it about halfway. So that's gonna be an additional 200 milliliters of water. And we're gonna add about one tablespoon of salt and we're gonna let it bring it to a bubble and then we're gonna wash our rice and add it so stay tuned guys because this is gonna be delicious guys we have our one tablespoon of salt we're gonna add that and you want to just um season your coconut milk to taste so if you add one tablespoon and it's not um salty enough for you then you can add a little bit more so you just want to season your coconut milk to taste okay so guys stay tuned because we're going to bring this to a rigorous bubble and then we're going to add our four cups of washed rice so guys we have now transferred our beef into our pressure cooker as you can see it's nicely bubbling rigorously nice steam's coming out now we're going to add the lid to it and um the pressure weight, as we call it in Jamaica. I don't know what they call it here in America, what it's called, but you know, we have our own lingo in Jamaica. So we're gonna put the lid on and we're gonna let this pressure cook for about 12 to 15 minutes. Um, I would say probably about 15 if you don't wanna simmer it too long. So we're gonna do this for about 15 minutes and then we're gonna cut some potatoes and we're gonna get all our herbs and vegetables together. We're gonna throw this in once we open our pressure cooker and it's nicely cooled, all right? So I'll see you in a moment. Guys, as you can hear in the background, we have our pressure cooker going. We just washed our four cups of rice and we're gonna add that in. And we're just gonna use a fork and combine. And we're gonna have the stove on high until the water starts drying out, well, the coconut milk. The liquid starts drying out and we're gonna reduce the heat cover it seal tight and let it steam for a few minutes. Look how creamy and dreamy that rice looks. The coconut milk is just, you have to let it bubble rigorously with your herbs and pepper and all those stuff to develop a nice flavor. So you don't want to just add the coconut milk and then you add the rice shortly. You want to let the coconut milk boil for a little bit and then you add your rice and uh, we're not cooking on high heat, I'm sorry. Medium, medium heat until um, the water starts drying out, then we'll reduce it to low and let it steam. So guys, as you can see, our liquid starts to um, all dry it out. So we're gonna reduce our heat on low now, and we're gonna seal tight our pot, and we're gonna let it steam for at least 10 minutes. So guys, after 15 minutes in the pressure cooker, that's our, um, Beef looks, we have some scallion, thyme, onion, 
sweet peppers and habaneros that we're adding into our pot. And we're just gonna mix this in and then we're gonna add a little bit more liquid to that. And then we're gonna dice up two potatoes and add to that and let it just simmer until everything is nice and tender. About eight minutes or so, we're gonna fluff our rice. Our rice still needs to steam a little bit more as you can see. It's coming to its nice tenderness. And look at the, look at that. The rice is a little bit wider than I would like because of course they're using the um, can gongo. And um, I did drain the cooking liquid off, which would have added to the color of the nice rich um, color. But you know what? It still looks delicious. The coconut milk, you can smell it, it's very pronounced. And we're using a fork and we were we used um long grain rice a lot of people tell you basmati is the best jasmine is the best but i like long grain so you can use any rice for this of course every different type of rice takes a little different time to cook or um amount of liquid so guys our rice and gungo is looking good we're gonna cover it back again and let it steam for probably another five minutes and then it should be ready. It's now time to add our potatoes. These are um, small potatoes and I cut each one in about 12 pieces. Um, we're just gonna add that in. And as I said, there's no specific time frame as to how long we should cook this. We just wanna make sure that everything is nice and tender. So you just keep adding a little bit of liquid at a time until everything is nice and tender. But I would say this will probably simmer for another 10 minutes while the potatoes cook. So as you can see, we're gonna add just a little bit more liquid and let this simmer for about 10 minutes. The potatoes should be cooked and the gravy should be nice and rich. Just look at that, wow. I can't wait to dig so in. Guys, our rice is now done. And we're just waiting on our beef to finish simmer. And we're gonna fry a few pieces of plantain off camera because I already have a video of me making plantain. So if you wanna see that, go check that out. And I'm gonna give this rice a little taste. Wow. This is delicious. Guys, our beef is done. Look, the fork just sticks right in. It's nice and tender. Look at that. Our potatoes are tender. The gravy is simmered nicely. Wow. All right, we're ready to eat. So I'll see you in the mukbang. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So as you can see from our plate right here, we're eating some delicious curried beef, rice and gongo, and some sweet plantains. Wow. Just look at that. All right, let's take a... A thumbnail. All right. So we got some Gatorade. Mm. All right. These plantains are so good. There you go. That one is yours. Just look at that beef. I brought my napkin to them. Wow. Mm. You see how simple that is? There you go, it melts right in your mouth. There's our potato. Wow. And I was going for the presentation today. As you can see from our rice. So our rice normally should have a little darker color because the beans, um, if you cook them fresh, then they would um, drain out on the rice. But it tastes delicious anyway. That rice is so nice and fluffy. Wow. I 
I'm so glad my teeth is feeling better. So you see, you can cut with a spoon, almost like cutting a fillet. <laughs> oh my. Guys, how are you guys been doing? That three days of farming, see, was like, you know, it pushed me to create content and post three days in a row. So I'm grateful. Wow. Um, Guys, I'm telling you, not because I'm Jamaican, nothing better than Jamaican food. <laughs> Smash the like button if you agree with me. But look how tender that beef is. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Mm. This is like um, like a Sunday dinner. Mm -hmm. For all the people who don't understand me, when I say Sunday dinner, I mean Sunday dinner. Look at them. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is like a um, really good Sunday dinner. Mm. But yeah, traditionally, in Jamaica, we cook this on Sundays. The rice and peas, rice and gungo. On Sundays and special occasions. So Christmas, Easter, holiday, holiday, them. Mm. Just wow. I want to say shout out to all my subscribers. We're approaching 2020. And I hope you all have a prosperous new year. My birthday is coming up right in the new year. So I'm excited for that. I won't do anything anyway, but I'm still excited. Mm -hmm. Can you all guess how old I'll be? In less than a month. Mm. But last night was the season finale of Temptation Island. Did you guys watch Temptation Island? How many of you have seen Temptation Island? Oh, it's a crazy show. Crazy, crazy show. But, you know, in Jamaica, they have a saying around the way that they say you don't know the use of your tail until you lose it. So, that was the situation for one of these guys on the show. Brought this woman on there. I blame the woman that she's insecure and all those things. And then, while he was there on Temptation Island, I realized that that was the biggest mistake of his life. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you just couldn't connect with anyone on the show. At the final um, bonfire, he proposed to her and she turned him down. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, that was probably ranked number two of proposals that people turn in on. Who remember the Joe Button and Tayeri on Love and Hip Hop New York? <laughs> that was hilarious. Right in Times Square, she turned him down.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want to say shout out to all my family who are watching. Don't get mad at me this time, okay? <laughs> Don't get mad. I have a lot left in the pot for you guys to share up, okay? Doreen, shout out to you, Stephanie. Crystal, the Verona, the whole family. I'm gonna big up on yourself, yeah, man. Mm -hmm. And I don't forget the subscribers, all the new subscribers, welcome. But on this channel, we start sharing recipes that are easy to follow and delicious. Oh, no. That was a burp so soon in the video. <laughs> but this beef is so tender. The rice is so flavorful. You can taste the coconut milk. And it's just a clean tasting rice. Because you don't want to overpower it with all those other seasonings. I see a lot of people put a lot of powdered seasoning and all those stuff. No. Salt. Simple as that. Fresh herbs, spices, that is where it's at. Mm. I want to do a curry goat recipe because that's one of my favorite Jamaican meals curry goat so um, I made a whole pot of this rice so I may be doing curry goat soon to eat with some of this rice mm. guys I'm getting full <laughs> mm. But that's delicious. You know, I always have to finish my drink, make sure I wash down all this food. All right. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this content, please like, comment, share and subscribe and come and join the family i would love to have you here if you like these videos please comment down below what's your favorite moment from the video and i want to thank you guys so much for watching love you all and peace